Hey guys, thought I'd take the opportunity to show you these two knives together and maybe make a quick comparison. So what you're looking at is the three and a half inch hinder versus the three inch hinder. Uh, both are very uh, useful, very EDC oriented folders, I would say. Very high end, very maybe even rare, but anyways, I'm not sure if they're so rare. They are a mid-tech knife. At the end of the day, they're just really in demand. Nothing wrong with that. So here we go. This is not my knife, but it's here for some work. But I figure I'd show them off. So the overall length, you can see right there. And then, of course, the difference in the thickness of the handles. So in your pocket, the three, three inch is going to carry a little bit easier. And you can see the blade thickness there, if it will focus. I'm going to jump today. Okay, come on, girl. Come on, kid. Hmm. Right here, kid. Your kid ha have to get out of my tree cast. Right That's yours. Let's go home. So there you go. This has a, a awesome grip. Very filling in your hand. If you was like really had to depend on a knife, you'd probably want the three and a half. If you EDC your knife, and I would say if you carry your knife more than you actually use it, this three inch is probably fine. I know it's fine for me. It does everything that I need it to do. It carries like it's not even there. I've owned a few three and a half inches, and I always end up selling them or trading them. Just because they're just a little too big for me. So they're a little too wide, a little too long, and just a little too heavy. So the three inch kind of solves all that. And I've handled a few 24s. Of course the 24 is a little bit longer, a little bit thicker blade stock, and then of course a little bit thicker in the handles too. So it's like tough, tougher, and then the 24, which would be right here, is the toughest. Um, so anyways, I wear about a medium to large hand uh, glove. So, see, I fit fine in here. Very comfy. Choil's very useful. And then the 3 inch. My hand still fits fine. My pinky does stretch to the very end of the handle. But I still have a very good grip on this knife. And it fits fine, all four fingers. If you're a bigger guy, maybe you'll be coming off the back. Uh, and the choil's cut a little bit smaller on the three inch. So where this, you can really get your whole, or at least I can, get my whole finger up in here. Like all the way up to my knuckle. You really can't with the three inch, which is fine. Let's see if I was to put my whole hand in here. It might catch the edge there. And you may get caught right there. But that's okay for me because personally, when I do use this choil, it's usually only my fingertip. So it's like this. And I do whatever fine task I need it for. So. That's what it is. For me, the 3 inch is just more pocket friendly. And it's still enough of cutting edge for me to get by. And of course, they both have the same design. So. Your stop pin, still for a uh, titanium frame lock, obviously. And you can see the cutouts right here in the titanium are just about equal. So I'm not quite sure if that translates into the same lock strength or not, because really, frame lock is only as strong as it's cut out here. And if they're the same amount, it doesn't matter if the titanium's thicker. As long as that cutout's not thicker. In theory, obviously. I know I've already said it, this has a thicker blade. And there goes your length difference. Show you a real quick cutting edge too. See the big difference is mostly in the handle. See how much more handle you have here in a three and a half? Where it's not that much more 
blade in proportion right so I said a few years ago the small versus large Sebenza um, I wouldn't really go as far as blade size cutting edge uh, pretty much go by handle so if you think you need more handle I'd probably hunt down to three and a half might be better fit if you think that even